ready. Away and running at the fairgrounds. Rare Hagen broke sharp. Good speed, my deal of the day. Alexa Play Born to Run has the teal cap with Miss Charlie Gras toward the inside. Then it's a break of three to the gray, Lil Adu, and the final gray, Sweet Vidalia Trails here in the Saturday opener. They dash past the half mile with Corey Lannery. It's the first favorite who's out in front here, Rerlo Hagen at the three and a half in front of a tracking by deal of the day. The quarter for Rerlo Hagen, 22.09 seconds at one to five. It's Rerlo Hagen in front here of my deal of the day, looking to stay close with Rerlo Hagen. Lil Adu gains third. Between horses, Miss Charlie Gras, Orange Silks with a black cap, Alexa play born to run wide and Sweet Vidalia's last. Under a quarter of a mile to go and to reel in, Rerlo Hagen. But they're deep in the final furlong and a half. It's Rerlo Hagen. Rerlo Hagen has the kick and has come clear by nine lengths. Sweet Vidalia launching a late bid to be in the battle for second with my deal of the day and Lil Adu. It's Rerlo Hagen. Corey Lannery for Ron Fauché in the first of the day. Rerlo Hagen by a dozen lengths. Sweet Vidalia was second. Lil Adu third. My deal of the day finished fourth. They're in the gate. They're off. Overly sweet. Graham's deal showing speed. Deb's prayer quick to engage them. Lucky deal with the rail. And Miley Star starts a bit as they charge into the first turn. In between horses is Graham's deal with Guanajuato now sweeping on the outside. As these leaders go to the back of the track with Deb's prayer now third upon settling. Miley's star and Lucky deal in fifth. And they have six furlongs to go from the first wire. And Guanajuato now takes the top from Graham's deal. Then it's a break of four more to Cajun Aces, who's running in the back half of the field while clear of She's Taken Over and Overly Sweet has dropped back to last. The first two of eight for Longs in 24.45 seconds for the runs of the half-mile pole with Elio Barrera. Guanajuato leads the mile. It's Guanajuato who's in front, leads here by three and a half lengths. Graham's deal is vying for second with Miley Starr. Lucky deal now fourth on the far outside. As they head toward the far turn, Deb's prayer with the rail. It's a break of four more to Cajun Aces and turn two to She's Taken Over and five more lengths back. Overly Sweet remains last to the eight. A half mile in 48.66 seconds. A quarter of a mile remains. Guanajuato still in front as Graham's deal starts a bid. As these Phillies mares straighten for the short stretch. Lucky deal is also on the move. Toward the inside, Deb's prayer has a gap. Here's Deb's prayer who comes charging through for Adam Biskitza. After three quarters in 1 minute 15.08 seconds, Deb's prayer has taken the lead. Lucky deal logs in. In between horses, Graham's deal. As they come inside the final 16th, it's lucky deal for Deshaun Parker. Lucky deal has taken a short lead from toward the inside. Deb's pair and Graham's deal. Lucky deal gets the result. Cajun Aces finish fourth. They're off and sprinting. Rammer Jammer just peels out of there for Jose Rodriguez. Rammer Jammer in the red gets the jump on Majestic Mandate, who's making a move toward the inside, and they're joined by Multi Platinum, who comes dashing from the rail now for James Graham. Multi Platinum went to the lead from sharp starting Rammer Jammer, who tracks Majestic Mandate. The gray is tapping to the line between horses with on the outside. Special Operator, green with the white diamond belt, the leading owner silks now up in a third from tapping to the line. Bello Credo is in fifth, and they have just over three for to run. After breaking sharp, Majestic Mandate is now second to last and beaten for speed. Holy City trails them in seventh position. The quarter was 22.19 seconds at the two and a half. Rammer, Jammer, and Multi Platinum with the rail. And these two battle for turning for home. Past the quarter pole, Rammer, Jammer, and Multi Platinum, while five clear from Special Operator. And that Aubrey Green cap looks to close in now from third. Tap it to the line. Majestic Mandate is next. We trail back to Holy City. Bello Credo outrun. One for long to go. Rammer Jammer in a scrappy battle with Multi-Platinum as they come inside the final 16th and Holy City is rattling home on the far outside for Corey Lannery. Holy City descends on them toward the Real Majestic Mandate comes through. Majestic Mandate there for Elio Barrera. A bold rail rally from Majestic Mandate and a photo finish with Holy City as they came past the battlers Rammer Jammer and Multi-Platinum. And they're off. Lil Wody broke sharp. 
Gutsy flashing speed, and Holy Bayou is also right there. It's Holy Bayou. So Holy Bayou went to the front for Trayvon Albert. Holy Bayou is the fleetest of the field. Custom Prayer strides up now to gain second. Gutsy is third after a sharp start. Then toward the inside, looking to gain ground is hard four in the purple silks with a green cap, and the gray is Autumn Strongman between horses. After breaking razor sharp, Lil Woody is now second to last, while Mr. Cromwell trails the state-bred sprint. The quarter went past in 21.99 seconds. They fly to three furlongs from home, and it's Holy Bayou. Holy Bayou leans at 13 to 1 from Custom Prayer. Gutsy third on the outside with hard four in fourth. Lil Woody is outside of Autumn Strongman between horses. And finally, Mr. Cromwell. It's Holy Bayou first to face the Saturday crowd. Half mile in 45.47 seconds. Holy Bayou trying to spring the upset. One furlong to go. It's Holy Bayou driven down to the final half furlong. Gutsy's charging now for Marcelino Pedroza Jr. And here's Autumn Strongman with a late challenge for Brian Hernandez Jr. Across the track, it's Gutsy. Autumn Strongman on the outside. Autumn Strongman getting up. Autumn Strongman beats Gutsy by a half to three quarters. Holy Bayou finish third. They're in the gate. Here comes the fifth. And they're off. Toward the inside, slick and fast. American Dollars, Righteous Freedom, Up and Gone, and Marvin's Posse is also one of those front rank vying for the early lead. Slick and fast is just in front here for Corey Lannery with Marvin's Posse in the red cap. Creekside in the lime cap has found the rail in third. American Dollars go with the Black Star in the leading quartet as they go to the back of the course. Six furlongs from home. Then comes up and gone saving ground with Righteous Freedom. It's a break of two more to Custom Cadillac who's racing one from the back and Sonia knows better at those 13 to 1 odds has drifted back to last. The quarter in 25.13 seconds making this run toward the half mile pole. Slick and Fast charts the course. Slick and Fast has come clear from Marvin's Posse by three. With a half mile to go, American Dollars third on the outside. Creekside is running in fourth. Righteous Freedom six lengths off the leader in fifth. Then comes Up and Gone, who comes up the rail there at 34 feet. The trailers remain custom Cadillac, and Sonia knows better. Still last of eight here in the maiden three-year-old turf. Half mile as they round the far turn. Slick and Fast continues to lead. Marvin's Posse staying close for Elio Barrera coming toward the quarter pole. Slick and Fast. Marvin's Posse right there. Creekside, in the meantime, has been saving ground. Creekside starts a bid for Brian Hernandez, Jr. American Dollars, Righteous Freedom has the cherry red cap. Sonia knows better. Tips to the far outside. Up and gone, and Custom Cadillac was last as they straightened away. They posted three quarters quarters at least in 119.56. Awkward stretch run for Slick and Fast, who's uh, veering in and out. It's Slick and Fast. Marvin's Posse, Creekside with that running rail. Righteous Freedom on the front outside. Sonia knows better than American Dollars, but kept to the task by Corey Vannery. Slick and Fast. Slick and Fast drives home. Righteous Freedom might have just gained second on the line from Creekside. Then Marvin's Posse with Sonia knows better. American Dollars was after that. Ready. They're off. Toward the inside, fine cotton. Not so close. My town, my rule stays close to not so close. Who's made to the front. And an easy lead here for not so close for Brian Hernandez Jr. Over toward that rail. It's not so close. Out in front with seven furlongs to run. My town, my rules just gained second. Fine cotton in the royal blue. Then it's a break of five here in the early stages to Judy's Way running in fourth. While three clear from Romance Novel and finally Zing. Going up the back stretch, the opening quarter covered in 23.59 seconds at the five and a half. Not so close generates the pace. So the daughter of Empire Maker, not so close, dictates terms to Fine Cotton, who's in pursuit there for Corey Vannery, riding for a hat trick of wins on the card. Edgar Morales and My Town, My Rules gallops along in third, and they have four furlongs to go. Saving ground for Marcelino Pedroza Jr. as Judy's Way has the black cap. Zing on the far outside looks to gain for Deshaun Parker. And with Adam Biscitz, a romance novel, and the brown with the white dots. Half mile for the front runner, not so close. 46.76. Inside three to go. Not so close continues to lead Fine Cotton, but has widened to a five-length advantage. 
My Town, My Rules, Zing, looking to gain on the extreme outside. Judy's Way, and finally, Romance Novel, last to make the top of the fairground stretch. These Phillies and Mares have strained away, and not so close, looking to finish them off. Three quarters at 111.80 for the longtime leader. Brian Hernandez Jr. with Not So Close. Not So Close has the kick. Fine Cotton in second. Three lengths. Zing has gained third from a battling My Town, My Rules, but she's raced away. Not So Close. Not So Close. Not Close in the end at all. Not So Close goes wire to wire, one by seven. My Town, My Rules repelled Zing for the runner-up spot and behind of Not So Close. All set. They're off. Portos the Grain with Omaha Red now making an early bid. Roman Centurion between horses. Nearest the inside, Britain's Kitten. And in the early stages, American Hero has drifted back to last while settled by James Graham. For Marcelino Pedroza Jr., Omaha Red leads out. It's Omaha Red who leads Portos into the clubhouse turn with seven furlongs to go. And staying close for Adam Biskitza is Portos, but the lead made here very easily by Omaha Red. So Omaha Red dictates the pace of the race, three-quarters length to Portos. Corey Vannery with Roman Centurion in the claret colors, running in third, making this backstretch run. Then it's a break of six more with Deshaun Parker, Britain's Kitten, running second to last, and American Hero still trails the quintet. The first two of nine furlongs from the fairgrounds in 24.96 seconds during the half-mile pole. Omaha Red continues to generate the pace. Doing this nicely out in front is Omaha Red. Porto send on the outside. Roman Centurion in the three-path. As they head toward the far turn, the trailers remain Britain hit Kitten with American Hero. Half mile, 49.78 seconds. They round the far turn. Omaha Red continues the front runner with Marcelino Pedroza Jr. Omaha Red, the favorite leads at the two and a half from Portos now being ridden to engage. Omaha Red with Roman Centurion on the outside. Then Britain's Kitten and finally American Hero. They come for home and uh, it's Portos with Roman Centurion charging on the outside. Britain's Kitten comes rallying up the rail for Deshaun Parker. Here's Britain's Kitten has taken charge into this final fairgrounds furlong from a staying on Omaha Red, then Roman Centurion and Portos. Well back, American Hero. It's Britain's Kitten driven out. Britain's Kitten gets the result by a length to a game Omaha Red. Portos third and Roman Centurion finished fourth. Well clear from American Hero, Bastogne. Well, 34 feet from the fairgrounds, feature of the day, the Renegade. And they're off in the Allen Black Cat Lacombe Memorial. Hey, you never know. Camp Aquila with the white cap, and right there is Blame Day vying for the early lead with Hey, you never know as they head toward the first turn. Hang the Moon is fourth with Girl Named Charlie in fifth. Beyond Doubt is sixth and settled. Then comes Chop Chop with the red cap and the Irish red. Beautiful Navigator has drifted back to last. Hey, you never know. Hey, you never know for Marcelino Pedroza Jr. Just leans with inside six furlongs to go. The front runner, hey, you never know. With Blame Day taken back and Camp Aquila strides up on the outside now as these three-year-old fillies make this backstretch run. 24.97 for the lead part. Hey, you never know. Charts the course from a close-up Camp Aquila with Blame Day in third, Girl Named Charlie in fourth. Hang the Moon is saving ground, biding time in fifth place. With Chop Chop looking to make a split of fillies there for Corey Vannery. Chop Chop now gains between Girl Named Charlie and Hang the Moon. Beyond Doubt is wide and Beautiful Navigator remains last. They traverse the far side of the fairgrounds course. Still, hey, you never know. And Camp Aquila close for Mitchell Murrell. Half mile in 51.15 seconds. Coming toward the quarter pole. Short lead, hey, you never know. Camp Aquila's bid. Girl named Charlie sweeps on the outside for Edgar Morales as they straighten up past the quarter pole. After three quarters here in 117.87 seconds, Camp Aquila, hey, you never know. Gaining is girl named Charlie. And uh, toward the inside, looking to stay on from in between horses, blame day with on the far outside. Here comes Chop Chop. They come past the 16th. And it is girl named Charlie. Toward the inside, beautiful Navigator, who was last on the back of the course. Photo finish, girl named Charlie. Girl named Charlie, driven out. Beautiful Navigator was right there, too. Chop Chop with Hang the Moon. Camp Aquila flattened the home run. 1.15 p.m. Central, spring ahead. Last of the day, all in. And the Roth over on Linical broke sharp. There's Kiersdorf Vosk 
with an early bid. Kim's Lavosk, Tim Tal quick to join, and toward the inside here is Blue Light, showing good debut speed for Corey Valery to be a part of an early three-way battle. It's Blue Light with on the outside Tim Tal. They're now vying for it with Kim's Lavosk right there, Royal Blue and Red Halves. Lucky Smiles now in fourth over Analytical, Broke Sharp in fifth. Then toward the inside is Rate Confirmation. Emergency response is fanned wide at the three and a half, and Forever Cool Trails, the maiden sprint here in the Saturday finale, the quarter 22.59 seconds. They roll to three for long from home. It's Blue Light. Blue Light just leads. Tim Tal's right there too for Colby Hernandez. Tim Tal up to Blue Light. They continue to vie for this lead as they turn for home. Rate confirmation tips to the three path for Mitchell Morrell. Rate confirmation looking to launch a bid. Kislav Votsk straightened away in fourth. Then over Adelinical from Forever Cool. Emergency response being outrun now. Lucky Smile. One for long to go. It is Blue Light. Blue Light making his bow, and Blue Light is determined here. Past the 16th, Blue Light just turned back Tim Tal. Blue Light is Corey Vannery, caps off a three-win day. Blue Light, sharp debut. Tim Tal was the runner-up. Great confirmation third, and Kiev's now Votsk finished fourth.